would like to thank our organization, especially Clara Manriera and my colleague for inviting us to present the praxis we aim in, in the Museum of San Cubat del Vallès. Uh, for those people who doesn't know the place, I really encourage you to come and see our, our monastery. Um, it's just 20 minutes from Barcelona. It's just uh, like a, a little travel from here. And it's a very unique space as you can see. So I really appreciate if you can come and join us. Uh, I will do my, my presentation uh, based on five praxis, five uh, practical things we carry on in the Museum of San Juan de Vallès. Uh, but first of all, I would like to like do a reflection about um, which are the the main um, <coughs> ideas of the heritage and the museums are places for socialize, socialize um, and to create opportunities to create social peace and so on. For that reason, I will uh, propose you like understanding culture and <coughs> heritage as a weapon of massive construction. <laughs> I like to see that indeed because uh, it, I think it, it links very appropriately with the, the discussion we had before. So like uh, not a weapon for destruction, but for construction and used as a tool, as a tool for creating new opportunities, as you have explained before, as a place for a give response to a very complex society with different needs and special needs, um, a place for doing together, to create together, um, learning by doing. This is the main philosophy I, I, think, I think we have when we do our projects. Um, heritage, archaeology in our case, used as a tool for integration in the end. Why using museums as socializing uh, agents? I am always uh, talking about museums because I, I work in a museum, not, not in the archaeology field because I'm not archaeologist, but um, I am very lucky to work in a heritage place, so I am referring all the time uh, to this, to the museum, okay, in this case. Um, I will illustrate this by six main ideas of why we should use museums or heritage places as socializing uh, places for agents. First of all, in my opinion, and I think you will, you will be, uh, you will agree with me. The museum or museums in general, or um, heritage places, are spaces for pre of prestige. I mean, um, places for culture. They must be seen sometimes like remote or very, some kind of strange spaces for 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 people. But at the same time, I think uh, people feel them like a prestigious spaces. For example, uh, next uh, a few days ago, I think the case of the Brazil Brazil Museum. Do you know that uh, it was burned? And people in the in the streets were very impressed of, of, of that. Okay, so we can see museums sometimes like very uh, very strange places, not like. Everyday places, okay, but at the same time, uh, I think people feel very proud of, of them and to ha having this this heritage. At the same time, I think uh, they can give self-esteem, or um, as Clara says, um, quite often, the sense of place, sense of being uh, part of it, part of this heritage. Uh, second point, museums are places of uniqueness, like different places, original ones, not the <coughs> same like, uh, I don't know, mm, the square, the school, or the supermarket, okay? And 
in this, in this sense, there should be a motivation if we can know how to do that. The museum or the heritage places as well can link, they can be like bridges between different type of um, communities, different type, different type of audiences. They uh, draw bridges as well between academic culture and more popular ones. So we, we have really a good opportunity here to explore that. Uh, four, museums are mirror spaces. If we have, for example, um, weaknesses in our society, we have to explore them and to show them. So we have problems, let's show these problems. Let's reflect our problems in our museums. We must do that, it's like um, a, a difficult exercise, but I think it's good uh, to share and to create a spaces where weak weaknesses or um, trouble have been exposed. And for that reason, we will see it in some um, practical cases afterwards, but I think it's a good exercise because they can be also a places for uh, provide self-esteem to uh, the people where when participating them. Uh, in the fa in the fast fifth position, museums are spaces of sensitivity, or in my opinion, they should be because uh, heritage is not just stones. Heritage is more it's more than this is uh, something about something related to emotions, something related to memories, as Clara said before, something related to our past, our, our identity. So um, let's take part of it, and if we can do that, and if we can use emotions, we can link it with the heritage really. Um, for that reason, museums are perfect platforms for sharing universal, universal feelings. Museums are places of <coughs> opportunities, I have said before, not only um, because they are mirrors of diversity or complex societies, but also because we can, for example, uh, give working opportunities to people. We will see it in, in a project I will present that is uh, Be My Guide. It's a, a, a project I will, I will show you after. And for that reason, I think museums can be like uh, guarantors of a real accessibility. Using different strategies, we will see it. Okay. Um, this is kind, a kind of reflection I, uh, I wanted to do before. And now I will uh, explain the um, practical things we have been developing in the educational department of the Museum of San Cugat. First of all, the Museum of San Cugat is a local uh, museum. Um, San Cugat has like uh, 9,000 inhabitants, more or less. I don't know, it's a bit correct. Uh, so it's like a middle city, not, not, not a very small one, but it's uh, quite like a standard one. And in this, in this sense, we are using the heritage and the uh, uh, environment we have, that we feel like very proud of it, to take advantage and to mm, do like, um, to try to do better our society, our direct society, so our community, okay? Let's see, the first example is, uh, it's called Femo Museum in Catalan, it's Let's Do a Museum. Let's Do a Museum is an inclusive and democratizing, democratizing artistic project where we work together uh, with couples so one artist, uh, one local artist, and one person with special needs work together in order to create a work of art. This work of art 
will be in, a, in an exhibition afterwards in the museum. The good thing is that the inspiration comes from the city, from the, the place, from the environment, so from the monastery. The main objective in this, in this case is to create a more comfortable space, uh, like a cozy space in the museum, and uh, to create together with no limits and in a very free way, in a very comfortable way. The second project I will explain to you is Tell Me While Weaving. Uh, in this case, the heritage we use is related to contemporary tapestry. For uh, quite a long time, the San Cugat had a very important fabric or place for creating tapestry, con uh, contemporary ta tapestry. And in this sense, we have used that to help uh, women who have suffered for, from gender violence. In this way, we create a real network, not just the material one, not, not, not just the, um, ta the tapestry, but also because we are creating a empowerment network um, in the with the women who have suffered. The third project I I will explain is be my guide. This is uh, based on guided tours led by people who are affected by Asperger's syndrome, is a, a kind of autism, and since. 2016, we are carrying uh, this type of guided tours with the main objective. Is the, uh, the main objective we have is the fight against the stigma of the autism on the one hand, and on the other, uh, give uh, working opportunities for all. Because these guided, uh, these gu these guides um, have the opportunity to develop uh, a work in our our place. Uh, Clara is okay. Um, I think it's the the last project I will I will present is Saint Alphan Fill the Mart, uh, where we make works of art with uh, blind, uh, not with uh, eyes covered. <coughs> the the special thing in these workshops is that Teresa de Rabeta is a blind artist creates these workshops. So the people are with uh, blind eyes just creating by uh, the instructions of, the, of these blind artists. So the main objective in, in this case is that you feel like the other. You feel like the, 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 pe the people uh, who have special needs. So you can empathize with the suffering or the problems uh, of your people. And to end my, my presentation, I would, I would like to define our weaknesses because we, we try to do the best we can, but always we have weaknesses, of course. And one of these is that a budget is always reduced, not only for the money, but also for the human resources. In heritage places and museums, you know it very well. We want to do lots of things and we want to improve it and so on, but we are just poor people. <laughs> so uh, this is very difficult to do. Uh, we have also complexity in our audiences because they are very heterodox. So we are not psychologists, we are not specialized in this, we are um, heritage man management people, sorry. So, <coughs> Another thing is the centrality of the proposal that sometimes for the budget we cannot do it um, uh, longer in the time. And the fourth point is the difficulty on, of the evaluation. I am very impressed of the evaluations you, you, you have because they are very professional and this is our, I think it's our main weakness because as we are just poor people and we have no money, so for evaluation and for the rigorous in the evaluation,
innovation tools, we must we need a long lot of time and to uh, invest money as well. So for us, it's always the weakness, the weakness thing to do, and the difficult, the more the most difficult thing to do. And I don't know if I have time to just one minute. Okay, uh, practical we said to finish. In my opinion, when we do uh, socialization programs in heritage places, um, I think we must always start with real needs. So don't invent needs. Just uh, look around your uh, place and you know and, and think about okay, what my community? I think what my what my community need? Maybe just ask them what do, what do you need? Make visible what do you do. This is related with the communication, not only for the abstract, not only for the uh, presentations, but also for being in the in the media and in the um, in the social media. Social network. Thank you very much. Uh, working at transversal giving way. This is a clear theme in the um, pedagogical uh, teams. I think we must do a very uh, transversal, transversal work, implying different type of people, and always be, of course, always be rigorous with the contents. Because if we are socializing um, our heritage, but we are not uh, rigorous and serious with what we are explaining, it's it's not it's not fair. Uh, and last, analyze and evaluate everything we do and, and, and as I have said it's the thing it's the weakness uh, point we have so we must improve thank you um, I have no recipes like magical recipes but I always um, I always uh, share this Antonio Machado verse that is Caminante no hay camino, se hace camino al andar. Walker, there is no vote. You make the walk the way while walk, walking. So let's walk and let's see what's, what's going on. Thank you very much.